Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. With James DeGale vacating his IBF, Jose Uzcadegui elevated and now ordered to face Caleb Plant. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back for some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work. And now James DeGale the other day vacated his super middleweight title, an IBF title, and now the interim titleist Jose Uzcadegui has been elevated to the full champion. Those are the rules since he vacated without any resistance and DeGale is no longer the champion. He just beat Caleb Truax. A little bit controversial. I was at the fight. It was on the Edislani Lada versus Jared Hurd fight card. And some people thought Truex won, but the judges seen it DeGale's way. But DeGale has decided to vacate instead of fighting his mandatory Jose Uzcadegui. So by default, Uzcadegui gets elevated to the full champion, which is rightfully so. Now, I'm not sure how other people interpret this, but in my opinion, in my eyes, James DeGale clearly ducked and avoided Jose Uzcadegui because there's really no reason for a person with the catalog of James DeGale to work that hard lose to caleb truex lose your title to him rematch him in an immediate rematch prove you can beat him and before you even get one title defense you know you have to fight jose uzcadegui who made andre Durrell quit it could be a good fight he was in the crowd i seen him i talked to him he was in the crowd at your last fight and instead of facing him you just get rid of your title no injuries like i said keith thurman he's the wbc champion he was he got rid of his title, but he's at least injured. So to not stall out, he's like kind of a champion in recess. So to not stall out his division, he's relinquishing his title and vacating for that reason. And his situation is different aside from the injury. Keith Thurman at least has a WBA. James DeGale was a one belt champion and got rid of his one belt that he worked for just to not fight Jose Uzcadegui. And because he quote unquote, wants to look for big fights in the final chapter of his career, right? So not really a good look. I think decisions like that are more so reserved for maybe like Miguel Cotto, Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, guys who have had belts, got rid of belts, had belts. Floyd's undefeated, you know, because it makes sense at that point because we know what Floyd is with or without a belt. James DeGale, he lost to George Groves and he lost to, um, in my eyes, Badu Jack had a close fight with Andre Durrell himself, things like that. So I don't really think he's in the position where he shouldn't be looking for extra incentive and bargaining chips, things like a belt. I think belts would help him, help his name, help his catalog, but whatever, that's a decision he made. Jose Uzcadegui is now ordered on Thursday, as of Thursday, to start negotiating with Caleb Plant and his team to make a fight. If they cannot reach a deal, then they'll go to a purse bid. As far as that, great fight. I talked to Uskadegi and Caleb Plant again on that same night where James DeGale fought Caleb Truex in the rematch on the Swift Jared Hurd Lada card in Vegas. And Uskadegi's team was scoping and eyeballing James DeGale to see how he would fare in his rematch to see if he would get his title. After the fight, they told me personally, and I might put the video at the end of this video, they told me that they believe Caleb Truex actually won instead of James DeGale, but they want to take care of James DeGale because they knew they were in line to face him. And after that, they assured Caleb Truex, or they assured Caleb Plant that he would get an opportunity at them. They said, we're not ducking anybody. We'll fight Caleb Plant. We know he's ranked. He's a good fighter. And they kind of made like a pact on the spot right then and there. So good to see Caleb Plant and Uzkadegi look like they're not ducking phase, just looking to secure the best fights in their division and prove their worth. 168, there's definitely talent. You still have DeGale, even though he doesn't have a belt. David Benavidez is a guy I really like. Caleb Plant's my dude. I really like Jose Uzkadegi. You have Anthony Durrell. So you got some good names at 168. Gilberto Zuto Ramirez, who just recently fought. So some good names. Hopefully we start getting to some unifications. 
Let me know what you guys think of Jose Uzcategui versus Caleb Plant. I think it's an awesome fight. Uzcategui has some momentum from the Andre Durrell fights and kind of making Andre Durrell quit stopping his fight. Caleb Plant's undefeated. Sweet hands Plant, very slick thinker in there. Gets off on his offense too. He can move, stays in shape. So that's a hell of a fight. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is ego. So I don't know. So let's get this. As soon as we beat them, touch this man right here. Let's give me the shot. Don't worry. He didn't get his title back. He got it given to him. Caleb. Wow. Caleb, after we knock them out, we'll give you your shot. Yeah. Don't worry about it. He'll give you your you next. heard that? He going to beat him, we'll and then he going to give me a shot. Tell him. After, after Jose knocks out the girl, we'll give him the opportunity yeah. right away. Who's the two yeah. best in the division? Yeah. We feel this this will be a great fight. Don't worry about it. Once we knock him out in two rounds, yeah. we'll give Caleb. You said, yeah. so you, you guys you, you knocked out the girl in two rounds. <laughs> two you know it, too. Everybody knows it. You know what Jose can do. Nobody need to worry about it. We'll knock him out in two rounds. Great performance before. Exactly. That, you saw that fight. That Who'd you guys have winning for the record? Huh? Who'd you have winning? Actually, we thought Caleb did a lot better. This is weird shit, but hey, he's a better money fight. It don't matter. We'll go to England and knock him out in two rounds. Shout out to Venezuela. Shout out hey, to Scott. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.